Hi dear, we will continue with the layer 1, chapter 1, chemical equations and reactions, ok. So, today we will learn about this chemical equations, ok. So, instead of telling every uh, reactions in the form of sentence, we can give it in the form of, uh, we can give the uh, reactions in a shorter form, ok. Ok, so that we can do it in two forms, that is, one of the form is we can give the chemical reaction the word equation and one more is skeletal equation. Okay. So, what does it mean by word equation means? It is, uh, uh, for example, last class we have seen this uh, uh, when we burn the magnesium ribbon 2 through 3 centimeter long magnesium ribbon. Uh, it reacts with oxygen to form magnesium oxide. Okay. Instead of telling like that, we can write, we can give it in a short form. Okay. That is your word equation. It is, a, what is the word equation? It is a shorter form and the simplest way to describe a chemical reaction. Okay. Shorter form or the simplest way to describe a chemical reaction. Okay. So, take the same example. Magnesium plus oxygen gives magnesium oxide. Okay. Magnesium plus oxygen gives magnesium oxide. Whatever written in the left hand side, your left hand side is, is your reactants. These two things react together to form a product. This is your right hand side is your product. Okay. Magnesium oxide. Okay. So, what is reactant? The substance that undergo chemical change in the reaction is called reactant. These are the two substances undergone chemical change. Okay. These are called reactants. Product. The new substance formed during the reaction is called product. So, what is the new substance formed during this product, uh, during this reaction? Magnesium oxide. So, this is your product. So, always this reactant is written on the left hand side. Product is written on the right hand side. And the arrow head, this, you know, this arrow. This shows that the reaction takes place in this direction. That is, magnesium plus oxygen gives magnesium oxide. Okay, this, uh, for example, if the arrow is uh, put like this, then the magnesium oxide is converted into magnesium plus oxygen. Okay, so what is this arrow head? The arrow head point towards the product shows the direction of the reaction. Okay. This is the word equation. What is meant by word equation? That is a shorter form or simplest way to describe a chemical reaction. Okay. So, on your left hand side is your reactants and right hand side is your product. The arrow shows the direction of the reaction. Okay. So, we can give the uh, chemical reaction even more shorter. So, that is your skeletal equation. The skeletal equation is nothing but a we are uh, we are written uh, magnesium plus ox oxygen gives magnesium oxide in word instead of giving the full word magnesium we can write the formula instead of a word we can write the formula the shortest form of describing the chemical reaction using chemical formula okay we'll take the same example magnesium what is the symbol of magnesium mg what is the symbol of oxygen o2 it gives magnesium oxide mgo okay so, here if you see this, you have studied in the uh, last class, 9th century, right? Uh, last year, uh, law of conservation of mass, right? What law of conservation of mass says that in a reaction, in a particular chemical reaction, the mass of the uh, mass is neither created nor destroyed, right? So, before reaction, what is the mass of the product? It remains same after the reaction also, right? So, so, here in the skeletal equation, if you see this, see, here mg, 1 mg is there, here also 1 mg, but here oxygen is 2 atom, 2 atoms are there, here only 1 oxygen is there. So, it is not, the mass is not balanced, okay. So, skeletal equation is nothing but the unbalanced equation, okay. It does not obey the law of conservation of mass, okay. It is just a representation of chemical equation. So, chemical, uh, skeletal equation is otherwise called as uh, unbalanced equation. The representation of chemical equation by the skeletal equation is an unbalanced equation because the mass is not the same on both sides of the equation. Did the mass of oxygen is same on both sides of the equation? Here in the reactant side you have two oxygen and here in the product side you have only one oxygen. So, mass is not balanced. So, 
so it is an unbalanced equation your skeletal equation is nothing but your unbalanced equation okay so uh, as per the law of uh, conservation of mass we have to balance the equation right so whatever uh, what is the mass present in the uh, before reaction has to be present after the reaction right so that is your balanced equation okay balanced chemical equation that means what the number of atoms of each element remains the same when before and after a chemical reaction okay remains the same before and after a chemical reaction otherwise we can say in the another form the total mass of the element present in the product of a chemical reaction has to be equal to the total mass of the element present in the reactant so ipo eppadi namak product form aagcho adle evlo mass irukko and the mass vandu reactants ni kandipa irukona right the total mass of the element present in the product of the chemical reaction has to be equal to the total mass of the element present in the reactants okay so how to balance this equation okay we'll see that okay so in the last class we have seen three activities and we got three equations right so using the same equation we'll learn how to balance the equation so what is the first activity magnesium reacts with oxygen to form magnesium oxide right here the uh, did uh, does the atom present uh, mass of the oxygen is same as in the uh, reactants and products no here the uh, oxygen here two oxygen atoms are there here only one oxygen atom is there so we have to balance this so first right like this in the beginning stage you uh, just always put this uh, tabular column and then try to balance it afterwards once you are familiar with it directly you can uh, balance the equation okay so what are the atoms present um, magnesium and oxygen how many magnesiums are there in the reactant side only one the pro, uh, then oxygen two atoms in the product side one ng and one oxygen okay so we have to balance this how to balance this here first how to balance this we have to consider the maximum number of atoms present uh, oxygen is present in maximum number so first we will try to balance this here the reactant is 2 so we need the product also should be 2 right 2 oxygen should be there so we uh, we should not put uh, we should not change the formula magnesium oxide formula is only ngo so if you want to increase oxygen by 2 so you should not put mgo2 this is wrong this formula will be changed right so you have to always don't disturb this formula okay always don't disturb this you have to put the numbers you have to balance by putting the numbers in the front of the chemical compound okay so to make the oxygen 2 you just put 2 here okay so this oxygen become 2 right in the product side also the oxygen becomes 2 then the magnesium also becomes 2 so we need we need to balance the magnesium now magnesium is 2 in the product side in the reactant side only one is there so we can balance it by putting 2 so now uh, this reactant magnesium also become 2 so magnesium before reactant uh, reactant and product both uh, at two at magnesium atoms are there in oxygen also 2 2 so it is balanced okay 2 mg plus o2 gives 2 mgo so how many mgs are present in the uh, reactant side 2 product also 2 how many oxygen 2 here also 2 okay this is how you have to balance the um, chemical equation right so next activity lead nitrate plus potassium iodide gives lead iodide plus potassium nitrate okay this is your second activity equation so first write the atoms reactants and products what are the atoms present here uh, nit uh, lead nitrogen oxygen potassium iodide lead nitrogen oxygen potassium iodide so how many numbers in the reactant sides how many how many numbers are there lead one number nitrogen two and oxygen 
3 2 is a 6 totally potassium 1 iodide 1 ok in the product side lead 1 number iodide 2 number potassium 1 number nitrogen 1 number oxygen 3 number ok so first I told you how to balance it first take the maximum number of atoms only oxygen is maximum here first you will try to balance this ok so in the reactant side it is maximum right how many are there 6 are there 6 nitrogen is there we have to make this product also product oxygen also into 6 right so shall we put so I told you you should not change the formula you have to include the uh, balance by putting the numbers in the front of the chemical compound only so to make it into 6 so multiply by 2 so you can put 2 here ok so this becomes 6 uh, if you put 2 here this potassium also becomes 2 right so here the product side potassium is now becomes 2 now balance this reactant side potassium if you put 2 it becomes 2k and the iodide becomes 2 already iodine is 2 in the product side so now in the reactant side also it becomes 2 in the reactant side also it becomes 2 then what else in the nitrogen nitrogen becomes 2 here here already 2 so product side also uh, the nitrogen becomes 2 yeah, already the lead is already balanced ok this is how you have to balance the chemical equation PbNO3 uh, lead nitrate plus 2 potassium iodide PbNO3 twice plus 2 Ki gives PbI2 plus 2 KNO3 ok so 1 lead 1 lead uh, uh, 2 nitrogen 2 nitrogen 6 oxygen 3 2 are 6 oxygen 2 potassium 2 potassium 2 iodide 2 iodide now it is a balanced equation ok clear next this is very simple zinc next third activity zinc plus hydrochloric acid gives zinc chloride plus hydrogen right so write the atom zinc hydrogen chloride in the reactant side so 1 zinc, 1, uh, 1 hydrogen, 1 chlorine. Okay. In the product side, 1 zinc, 2 chlorine, 2 hydrogen. Right. So, first uh, we have to take the maximum I told. Both are same here. So, I will take anything. Okay. Hydrogen. I will take the hydrogen. In the product, it is, it is 2 hydrogen atom are present. So, we will make the reactant side also 2. Okay. So, it becomes 2. Uh, 2H and 2Cl already 2Cl are present so the reactant side also it becomes 2 so now chlorine is balanced hydrogen is balanced already zinc is 1 1 number so both are uh, both are equal in the in the reactant and product side zinc is same ok so Z10 plus 2HCl gives C Z10 Cl2 plus H2 so how many zinc 1 zinc 1 zinc 2 hydrogen 2 hydrogen 2 chlorine 2 chlorine now it is balanced ok next the same uh, third activity zinc reacts with uh, sulfuric acid H2SO4 gives zinc sulfate plus hydrogen gas ok so write the atoms zinc hydrogen sulfate and oxygen reactants and product how many how many zinc are there 1 zinc how many hydrogen 2 how many sulfate? One, sulfur 1, oxygen 4. Okay, in the product side, same zinc 1 number, sulfur, sulfur 1 number, oxygen 4 number, hydrogen 2 number. Okay, so, so everything is balanced here, right? 4, 4, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 1. So, this itself is a balanced equation. This itself is a balanced equation. Okay. No need to balance it. Okay. Right. Next. Iron plus water gives iron oxide plus hydrogen. Okay. Fe plus H2O gives Fe3O4 plus H2. So, 
put a double column, write the atoms, ion, hydrogen, oxygen. So how many numbers are present? Ion 1 number, hydrogen 2 number, oxygen 1 number. In the, react, in the product side, Fe 3, oxygen 4, hydrogen 2. So we need to balance this. So always start with the uh, more number of atoms, balancing the more number of uh, atoms. So here the oxygen is 4 in the product side. So we have to make the reactant side also 4. So shall we put uh, 4 here? 4. So this becomes 4 oxygen and this hydrogen becomes 8 now. Okay. So we have to make this hydrogen also 8 here in the product side. So what we have to put? We put 4 hydrogen before it will give 8. Uh, Fe3 is present. If we put 3 here it becomes 3. So everything is balanced now. 3, 8, 4, 3, 8, 4. Okay. So the balanced equation is 3 Fe plus 4 H2O gives Fe3O4 plus 4 H2O. 3 Fe, 3 Fe, uh, 8 H2, 8 H2, 4 O, 4 oxygen and 4 oxygen. Okay. This balance now. So we will see few examples today and continue the uh, other questions tomorrow. Okay. Write the balance equation for the following chemical reactions. Okay. So the question is only hydrogen plus chlorine gives hydrogen chloride. Okay. They are given in the word equation form. We have to write the balanced equation. First we will convert this uh, word equation into a skeletal equation. Hydrogen. Hydrogen always uh, present in the form of H2. Okay. H2 plus chlorine always exists in Cl2 form. Cl2 gives Hydrogen chloride. Hydrogen means what? H. Valency is 1. Chlorine valency is 1. So if you cross this, so you will get HCl. Okay. This is not a balanced equation. Right. So put the tabular column. What are the atoms present? Hydrogen and chlorine. In the reactant side, how many uh, uh, hydrogen atom? 2. And how many chlorine atom? 2. In the product side, only 1 and 1. So. So we have to make the product also 2. So if you put 2 here, it becomes 2H into 2 equals 2. And 2 into 2 times of Cl is also 2. Okay. Now it becomes H2, 2H, two Cl2, 2Cl. Two okay. This is the balanced equation. Okay. Next. Barium chloride plus aluminum sulfate gives barium sulfate plus aluminum chloride. So they are given the word equation. First convert the word equation to a skeletal equation and then to a balanced equation. Okay. What is the formula for barium chloride? Barium chloride. How to uh, uh, write the formula? Barium chloride. Barium valency is 2. Chlorine is 1. So if you cross this it becomes BaCl2. Barium chloride. Okay. Next. Aluminium sulphate. Aluminium valency is 3. Sulphate valency is combined valency is compound 2. So if you cross this Al2 SO3 thrice. SO4 thrice. Okay. Al2 SO4 thrice. Next. Barium sulphate. Barium valency is 2. Sulphate valency is 2. So if you cross this it will cancel each other. Ba2 SO4 will come. So 2 to get cancelled. So Ba SO4 will come here. Next, aluminium chloride. Aluminium valency is 3. Chlorine valency is 1. If you cross this, Al, Cl3 will be formed. Okay. So, this is your skeletal equation. BaCl2 plus Al2 SO4 thrice gives BaSO4 plus Al, Cl3. Okay. So, how to balance this? So, put the uh, tabular column. Put the tabular column. Write all the atoms present here. Barium, chlorine, aluminium, sulfur and oxygen. So, how many numbers are present in that? Count and write. In the reactant side, barium is 1. Chlorine is, chlorine is 2. Aluminium is 2. Sulfur is 3. And your oxygen is 4, 3 is a 12. Okay. In the product side, barium is 1. Next, chlorine, chlorine is 3. Aluminium is 1. And sulfur is 1. Oxygen is 4. Okay. 
so how to balance that first we'll always take the uh, na more number of atoms so in the oxygen only more number of atoms are present so in the reactant side it is 12 so we have to make the product side also 12 right so oxygen is here so we should not change the formula we have to put uh, make the equation balance by putting the numbers in front of the formula compound only right so how to make this oxygen 12 we we'll put 3 okay 4 3 are 12 right now if you put 12 here the sulfur will also become 3 how many sulfurs are there 3 so we have to make the sulfur sulfur already in the product side sulfur become 3 so we have to change here this become 3 already reactant side also 3 sulfur is there next barium barium becomes 3 barium here this side, side product side it becomes 3 so to make it equal in the reactant side just put 3 here it becomes 3 okay now this chlorine becomes 6 right chlorine becomes 6 here but in the product side it is only 3 uh, is here to make uh, first if the even odd number has come first you try to uh, make it into even number okay if you put 2 here if you put 2 here this becomes 6 chlorine and 2 al already 2 al is present here it becomes 2 now and this become 3 2 are 6 already this side uh, products uh, reactant side also it becomes 6 so 6 3 2 3 12 6 3 3 so 6 2 3 2 12. so 3 barium here also 3 barium 3 2 are 6 chlorine here also 6 chlorine here 2 aluminum 2 aluminum here sulfur 3 here also sulfur 3 in here oxygen is 12 here also oxygen 12 okay this is your balanced equation and the last one is sodium plus water gives sodium hydroxide plus hydrogen this is a word equation convert into a uh, skeletal equation then to a balanced equation na sodium for symbol of uh, sodium is na plus water h2o gives sodium hydroxide sodium is na and hydroxide is oh its valence is 1 and 1 so it cancel each other so naoh sodium hydroxide plus hydrogen okay write the atoms sodium hydrogen and oxygen number of uh, sodium atom is 1 hydrogen is 2 and oxygen is 1 here in the product side number of uh, uh, sodium is 1 oxygen is oxygen is 1 and hydrogen is 2 here plus 1 3 okay Uh, so maximum number is hydrogen only if uh, odd number is present first make it into a even number by putting 2 becomes 2 sorry 2 already 3 is present hmm. it becomes now 2 na into 2 that is equals to 2 if you balances put 2 here it becomes 2 and the oxygen become 2 so if you put here it becomes oxygen is also become 2 here this will also become 2 here already um, two hydrogen is present here two hydrogen it becomes two hydrogen so 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. Okay, here 2 to the 4. Okay, before first before equating this here one hydrogen plus two hydrogen so totally three were present. Now we, if we put the we put two here so it becomes two hydrogen here also two so two plus two equals to four. Okay, now it is balanced. Two uh, Na, two Na, four hydrogen. Two hydrogen plus two hydrogen, four hydrogen, two oxygen and two oxygen. Okay, this is your balanced equation. So here it's a balanced two. So two Na plus two H two O gives two NaOH plus H two. Okay. 
so we'll come to a important question what is a balanced chemical equation why should chemical equation be balanced you know that already you learned that what is a balanced equation the number of atoms of each element remains the same before and after a chemical reaction is called balanced equation why should chemical equation be balanced a chemical equation should be balanced to satisfy the law of conservation of mass okay we'll stop with this and we'll continue with the more balancing of equation in the next class thank you